Shop Rob from Wesley Summercraft here. Uh, today I'm turning a hollow form. I'm kind of planning on turning an Art Deco style piece. I want a slight pedestal base with, I'm aiming for kind of a flying saucer, kind of a triangular top with a hollow form. So let's get this thing done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using my bowl gouge mostly on the outside and uh, probably mostly carbide cutters to get on the inside. Right, so this is a nine inch diameter piece of cherry and it is about three and three quarter inches thick. Uh, this is one of the pieces that my dad had in his workshop that sat there for a lot of years. So it's gonna be extremely dry, very stable, and there's no cracks in it and I don't expect it to crack. So, um, that being said, I'm going to have a mortise on the underside with a slight pedestal. So, let's get the underside of this started.
I've got it sanded down to 320 grit and I'm now going to apply some Yorkshire grit to the outside and uh, get that foundation ready for Hampshire sheen high gloss. I'm going to probably give this three coats of uh, Hampshire sheen high gloss once I've uh, once I've got it prepared. Now I, I, I really want a nice finish on this. It's, it's important to pay attention to uh, sanding and tear out and any kind of score marks that are in the wood because uh, we've all had them, we've all seen them and sometimes you ignore them and you regret it afterwards. So it is worth taking that extra time to uh, eliminate those those lines I mean I've seen them in my own work so you can but try to be better than you were before I guess so that's that's all uh, coated in Yorkshire grit so now I'm gonna turn the speed on just on low gradually bring the speed up safety glasses And that really does give you a really nice foundation. The chatoyants in that wood, I can already see it. It's not overly figured or anything, but cherry is beautiful wood. And the fact that this is a, a blank that my dad chose, most likely bought at the Woodstock Wood Show prior to 2007, makes it that little bit special to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply some Hampshire Sheen, high gloss, and I'm going to buff that in and probably put three coats on and then I'm going to hollow it out. And you're probably going to say, well, why aren't you finishing it before you finish it? Why don't you hollow it out first? That's a really good question. And I may end up coming back and putting some more wax on later. I, I don't know. It's just I like to see what I've got before I continue, I guess. See what I'm working with. See if it's worthwhile, right? So, right, I'm going to get this buff in. Okay, so there's the finish so far. I have sanded down to 320 grit, applied Yorkshire grit and Hampshire Sheen high gloss uh, three times on high speed burnishing that finish into the wood and again I forgot to use sanding sealer um, I don't know why it's I got a mental block on sanding sealer for some reason I still get a really nice finish I sanded it to 320 with uh, oil I really do like to wet sand and I haven't done that in a while but I find when I wet sand it really does show up the little uh, defects and you can handle them when you can see them you can deal with them if you can't see them you can't deal with them so now what I'm going to do is start hoeing this out I would normally use like I said a force and a bit but because of the 3 8 hole in the middle that I used for my wormwood screw I'm just going to start hoeing out with some uh, traditional tools on a thousand other days We took a walk in Silver Springs I didn't even say a thing And then it all just disappeared I was there the day the river and tried I just watched it flow away I just stood and watched the river die Cause when all is gone and nothing else remains You just hope for rain Saw the drive. 
posted on the Grit and Sheen uh, Facebook page. I'll put a link down below or something down below uh, so that you can head over to the Grit and Sheen Facebook page. If you're a wood turner or you're interested in wood turning, it's a great community that's just started recently by Martin Saban Smith and Glyn Senior from England. Um, those are the guys that formulated 
Hampshire Sheen products and Yorkshire Grit products. Again, great products that I use on pretty much most of my turnings, including this one. Um, a nine inch by three and three quarter inch cherry hollow form, which is my entry into Jeff Horning's hollow form um, for May 2017 content. I'm not entering to win, I'm just entering to participate. So I hope you like it. I'll leave some photos at the end. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Okay.